Hey YouTube, this is Bonnie J back on my channel. So I'm gonna just hop right into it. I know you guys have noticed that my backdrop has changed drastically. Um, I usually have a pink pastel glitter backdrop. Um, I went on YouTube and searched DIY floor backdrops because I was super interested in having one. And I was like, where can I purchase it? I looked up how much it would cost to purchase it and the ratio to what I wanna pay for what I was, the look I was trying to go for. Not that. So, um, I just decided to go with the cheaper routes, the less costly routes, obviously. Um, so if you guys would like to know how I created this look, um, I did create this look with uh, $30. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some flowers, a couple bouquet of flowers, some super glue, and two foam boards. However, I could walk you guys through the process in another video. If you're interested, please feel free to leave comments underneath this video. So going forward into the video, uh, two years ago today, I had my daughter, my bundle of perfection on the 16th of April, 2017. Now in 2017, April 16th did fall on Easter, so I do have a Easter baby. Um, her birthday festivities will not consist of any Easter anything. Um, not that I'm against Easter or anything um, as such. However, um, I just decided to go with a little bit less of a traditional two-year-old celebration. We're not going to do the big birthday party, the big cake. Um, I'm just going to take her out so she can enjoy herself and, you know, just be surrounded by family. So... I decided when I was asked to consider writing down some of my needs and wants uh, for a birth plan, I already knew I wanted to do it natural. I'm not sure what you guys are interested in when you d decide to have a child. However, you know, I know my mom had me naturally, so going forward, I just felt like, you know, if she can do it, I can do it. Also, when I did my research, I found that it causes less respiratory issues for your baby. Um, it's a, It doesn't have as high of an infection rate on your body and for the child. Um, you have a quicker recovery. You know, I know some people who get epidurals and things of that nature, or they don't have time to get an epidural. They get a C-section because, you know, their baby may have gotten stuck, didn't want to come out. The umbilical cord got stuck around the baby's neck. You know, they aren't able to recover as quick. So I figured, you know, the safest way to go is to just give birth naturally. I was completely fine with that. Women before us have never had access to these resources that we have now. So our bodies were made to procreate. So I was completely fine with that. Um, for anybody who is concerned, giving birth is not easy. Um, but it's not hard. And I'm only speaking for my pregnancy because I know everyone's pregnancy may not have been like mine. However, it is mind over matter. For sure. Unless it's some type of like health condition or something has gone wrong physically with your body. Um, it's mind over matter. You have to make up your mind what you want to do before you get into that birthing room. Um, and you need to make sure you have a tough support system. Um, I had my daughter's father and my mother there. Um, and they knew how serious I was about giving a natural birth and those nurses kept asking me a thousand times did you want medicine would you like the epidural no ma'am and you just need people that are going to surround you in that room to make sure that what you want for you and your baby that day it takes place so I will definitely go forward saying that um my experience giving birth um you know they say that when you um plan to have like a natural birth or any birth whatsoever that you want to stay as active as possible while you're pregnant um i was a server at the time and i stayed on my feet all the time i worked doubles i worked every single day i don't know a day i didn't really work so um when i started having contractions i didn't even really know i was having contractions i thought i was maybe laying on my side wrong or maybe my daughter was laying on like a nerve of some sort um Cause I just felt like I just had a, you know, a pinching pain. 
So, you know, I called my daughter's father and I was just like, I think I'm having contractions. Maybe like three hours later, I was like, okay, I'm definitely having contractions. Um, my appointments used to be every Thursday. Bella was due on a Thursday. No, she was due on a Friday. And I had my last appointment on the last Thursday before she was due. I was only a centimeter dilated. You guys, when I tell y'all, I was freaking, I was finna have a stroke. I was not big, but I was all belly. I got out of breath super quick. I could no longer do certain things for myself. So I was just over it. I was just like, I can't carry her for another week. I, if, if I do have to carry her for another week, like the people around me ain't gonna be able to live how they want to because. Second to last appointment. Before you get here, little girl. It was just a lot. It had taken a toll on my body. It was hard to breathe sometimes. So, you know, Bella was due on the 14th. However, she didn't come until the 16th. So, um, when I started to have those contractions, I was probably a little bit more excited than scared. Um, it didn't really become real for me that I was getting ready to give birth to a child until I got on the birthing table. When I got on the birthing table and the contractions were like extremely strong yeah i was just like yeah um i may or may not probably change my mind but like i said i had a strong support system to walk me through it and tell me you know this is how you wanted to do it let's stick with the plan the original plan let's do it um however you know when i got into the room you know you, you get to read the little computer and it tells you when you're having contraction it prepares you um for those of you who may or may not have done your research while being pregnant or before being pregnant, or you may have just had friends who, you know, tell you what their birthing experience was like, um, they'll tell you that, you know, the more active you are, the easier, you know, birth should be. I'm not going to say it is because I'm no doctor. However, I stayed on my feet all the time. I was walking. I was trying to jog at some point. Then after that, um, like I said, I was working as a server. So I was on my feet constantly carrying trays, carrying at least, you know, like 20 to 30 pounds on a tray. Um, so when I gave birth, uh, I'm not going to say it was easy. I'm not going to say it was smooth. But, you know, my mom had stories about giving birth to me. And she was just like, I was in labor for 40 something hours. And I can't tell you guys how many hours I was in labor, but I wasn't in labor for that long. You know, I woke up probably at like seven o'clock in the morning told my mom you know you know whip up my favorite breakfast um she whipped me up some blueberry pancakes some scrambled eggs some toast some grits i ate very well um hung out with my child's father for the remainder of the day we had red lobster that evening um i think we probably had got to a slight argument he pissed me off i got home lapsed around my neighborhood maybe three or four times before you knew it it was time to go to the hospital we get to the hospital i had already made sure i pre-registered ladies please 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 if you don't do anything please make sure you pre-register because i'm telling you when you get into that type of pain everything need to be quick nurses need to be quick check your you know like check your cervix quick everything needs to go quick you know what i'm saying because you don't have no time. So we pre-registered like weeks in advance. So when I got to the hospital, it was a matter of checking my cervix. The nurses, you know, escorted me into a room so I could be prepared to give birth. Um, I got in the birthing table, kind of went through the motions, you know, it got dark outside. Then I was just like, oh, she ain't gonna never come. Then before you knew it, I was eight centimeters dilated. I had taken like a slight nap. I don't know how I took a nap, but I managed to take a slight like cat nap and then by the time I woke up I was eight centimeters dilated you know my water did not break so the nurse had to go in and pop my water like pop the bag so that my water would break and before you know what I was giving birth um, I will incorporate some of my pictures and things of that nature into this video just so you guys can get a glimpse um, I won't show you everything but I will definitely give you a glimpse um, however so um hopefully you guys have had the opportunity to experience such a love um such as giving birth um i have bella around one something i know you guys are probably like she don't even know what time her baby was born like girl look bella was six pounds 
three ounces. She was 20 inches long. I don't know how she was bundled up in there. I'm small. I'm 5'4", 130 some change. I don't know where she had all that at, but she was in there comfortably. Um, she didn't have a problem coming out, so I didn't have any beef for her when she got here. Um, so, ladies, for those of you who are considering giving natural birth, please do your research before doing it. Um, and make sure you're doing it for you. You know, I did it because of, obviously, the things that I had looked up and researched. But overall, it's an empowering moment as a woman, as a mother. Um, and, you know, you want to be able to one day share that with your kids. Um, I At least I do. Um, so for me, you know, once it was done, it was done, you know. And I was able to, like I said, quickly recover. I was able to get up, use the restroom. You know, I did have to wear a mega pad. But, you know, that's fine. I was able to carry my daughter. And not to throw shade on anybody who gets an epidural, has a C-section. Because, like I said, all of our birthing experiences are different. However, I, if I had to choose again, would still go with giving a natural birth. Um, I enjoy being able to get up and move around how I would like to. Um, but that's me. So, um, you know, ladies, you know. Please feel free to leave comments as I tell you guys in all my videos. Um, please message me. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, wish my baby a happy birthday. We're going to hang out and do a couple of things today. Um, I'm so excited she is turning two. I'm not going to speak terrible twos into the air. I'm going to put into the air terrific twos. You know what I'm saying? Because our kids are terrific. They ain't terrible. And I know mine is not terrible. So, um, just some food for that. But um, just speak that into existence. Um, my daughter is um, coming into her own personality. Um, and two is a, a big milestone for your children or your child. Um, I'm super excited, uber excited. Um, and I can't wait to see her celebrate many more after today. So I hope you guys enjoy what you watch. Um, please do not forget to leave comments if you'd like for me to do a video on how I achieve this floral backdrop. Um, I will do it uh, probably in a week's time. Like I say, I try to do at least a video a week. So you guys, please, please stay tuned, stay up, and stay blessed.